A woman in Danville is speaking publicly for the first time since filing a lawsuit against the city. She says she isn't just fighting for herself. Good evening, I'm Paul Chikini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Roscoe, the lawsuit claims racial and age-related harassment against a longtime city employee. This is a follow-up from last week. Today, Lisa Robinson told us the harassment has stopped, but that's not stopping her from taking this to court. WCI 3's Jessica Coons is live in our control room. So, Jessica, what is she looking for? Well, Jennifer, this lawsuit specifically asks for Danville to put policies in place that would stop discrimination and harassment based on race, as well as an independent monitor to oversee those policies. 51-year-old Lisa Robinson says she was denied access to files and other information because of both her race and age. Two years ago, city officials tried to fire her from her job at the Department of Engineering and Urban Services. A union arbitrator ruled there were no grounds for that, and she got her job back, this time at the police department instead. She says the behavior did stop after her boss retired last year. She says she tried to solve all of her issues with the city out of court, but couldn't. So she shared a statement with us today about why she is filing this lawsuit now. First, what happened to me was wrong. Discrimination and retaliation should not be tolerated at work, especially when working for the city. Second, I want to make sure that what happened to me does not happen to any other Danville employee. Former Danville Mayor Scott Eisenhower and current Mayor Ricky Williams have both declined to comment. Two of Robinson's former bosses are also named as defendants, including former Public Safety Director Larry Thomason and Director of the Engineering and Urban Services Department David Schnell. Now, Robinson started working for the city in 1994. She is currently still with the police department, working as an administrative assistant. Jennifer. All right, Jessica, thank you. In addition to starting new policies, Robinson's lawsuit also wants the court to declare that Danville intentionally violated the Age Discrimination in Employment Act. She's also asking for damages that would cover attorney's fees, court costs, lost pay, and benefits.